Hey everyone, this is Pastor Bell with just a quick word. Do you feel safe when you come to church? When you walk in this building, when you sit in these pews, or when you sit in a classroom or some other space here at Good Shepherd or wherever you worship, do you feel safe? For some of you, this might seem like a ridiculous question. Like, of course you feel safe. This is your church. This is a place where you have come for years or for decades, where you have felt welcomed and a part of things where you have encountered God in worship and music and preaching and teaching and community with other people and service to your neighbor. This is the safest place. But for a number of folks, particularly those who don't always come to church, church is not safe. It has felt like almost the opposite of safe. It is a place where they have experienced judgment, where they have felt like outcast, where they have felt unwelcomed and ostracized by the people of God. And I'm not talking particularly about Good Shepherd. I'm talking about the church across our nation and across our world. For some people, church feels like the most unsafe place because it is where they have been told that they are irredeemably broken, where there is no hope for them, where they are going to burn, or they will never be right, or they will always be wrong. But if we read the words of Jesus and read through Scripture and we see how he interacted with people, the church as a representation of the body of Christ here on earth should be the safest place. It should be a place where people can come precisely with their questions, with their doubts, with their brokenness, with their uncertainties and their imperfections. It should be a place where they can come just as they are are as God made them to be and feel safe and feel welcome and feel part of the community. Not because they are like everyone else who is already here, but because like everyone else who is already here, they too are a beloved child of God. Because when we are honest, we know that all of us have brokenness, have sinfulness, have imperfections, have issues, and that certainly includes the guys up front who wear the robes. And so if we are safe here, then anyone else should feel safe here as well. And I think this is particularly important for our youth and our young adults because that is a time in your life, if you can remember being that age, where you face a lot of hard questions and hard decisions, questions about identity, about purpose, about love and relationships, about what it is you're going to be and who it is you're going to be in this life that God has given you and how do you fit in and who are, can you trust and a myriad of other things that are going on. And so let me say particularly to our youth and our young adults and our kids that if you have those hard questions, if you find yourself struggling and need someone to listen, I am here, Pastor Chris is here, Miss Lori is here. The staff is here to listen and to sit with you without judgment, without preconceived answers, but to walk alongside you as you deal with those most tricky and most important questions because this is a place where you should feel safe and let me say to our not so young adults because those hard questions don't end in your 20s that if you find yourself in that same type of place dealing with those deep and abiding questions i'm here Pastor Chris is here. Miss Lori is here. The staff is here to listen without judgment, without preconceived answers. Because this is a place where you should feel safe as well. God calls the church to be an outpost of the kingdom of God here on earth. We as God's people, we as disciples, each of us, not just the pastors or the professional church staff, but each of us have a responsibility to make that a reality, to make that a place where people feel safe, because that's 
what Jesus did. Jesus made the outcast feel safe. He made the unwelcome feel welcome. He made the sinner feel like the child of God they were. And so I hope that we as a congregation continue to do the same. That we continue to welcome people just as they are. Because like us, they come to this place seeking something better, something truer, something safer than what they find in the outside world. They come seeking a hope, a hope that we believe is found in Jesus Christ and in the good news he brings. So I hope you're having a wonderful week. I hope to see you here at church soon, whenever you feel ready and comfortable. And I hope that when you come here, you feel safe with the people of Good Shepherd and with the kingdom of God. God bless. Bye now.